Y'all, my body has been changing. <laughs> Welcome or welcome back everyone to my channel. My name is Safia or aka Curly Fit Gamer. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to the channel. We're all about embracing individuality over here and of course praising the almighty Jesus Christ Father because we wouldn't be unique or individually creative without him. Yes. Okay. What an awkward introduction. Can y'all believe it's been months since I recorded a video? I feel kind of odd talking to myself in this house with my bunny over there. Super excited to be actually getting back to actually making videos again. I was deciding on what my next video was going to be after kind of be on hiatus for a couple of months. Um, actually YouTube reached out to me. They were just basically like, hey, are you okay? Whoa, that's right. I've been kind of MIA for a while. So I guess we have to talk about the big elephant in the room. The elephant is me, just kidding. I'm not an elephant, but I have changed y'all. So hold on, this is kind of a awkward. Yeah, hold on, new attire. Okay, now that attire has been changed because if I was to show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all it, I was on my 90s, okay? My 90s are special 90s. Okay, so here's the big reveal. Your girl. Wait, I got. Hold up. <sighs> it's the pregnant. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. It's such an honor. You know it was you. You're the one who got me there. Yes, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. I always wanted to get pregnant. But seriously guys, it's been one heck of a journey getting here. Y'all know <laughs> your girl has PCOS. So pregnancy was something that I've always wanted, but I looked it up to God and I said to myself, well, if Jesus wants me to have a baby, then he'll let me have a baby. And that will be that. Try to put those worries in the back of my head and just focus on helping women get to their health goals and being the best woman they can be. That was like my main focus, just helping women get there. And that was kind of distracting me from those emotions and feelings and thoughts that I was having. But it was hard, honestly. But now that I am here, I am six months pregnant Oh my gosh, just saying that out loud is, I'm just beyond over the moon excited, you guys. I heartburn. Apologies, I'm gonna be doing that throughout the video. But it's just, it's, it's, it's really has been a journey. But you're probably curious about the new beginnings. Why did I label the video? <laughs> Acceptance for new beginnings. I think that's what I'm naming this video. I was thinking about it earlier as I was thinking about what I was actually going to talk about in this video. But yeah, acceptance and new beginnings. Well, definitely our little baby is definitely not something that's needing to be accepted. I mean, the baby was accepted as soon as I saw the pregnancy test. Immediately positive on the first try, by the way. It was, oh my gosh, literally at four o'clock in the morning. I was just too excited to even wait. <laughs> Your girl body has changed. And I and I know what some of you, you know, some of you ladies out here are probably saying, oh, of course, I mean, you're pregnant. You're gonna gain weight. No, this is gonna happen. That's gonna happen. But I'm a first time mom and I'm a health coach. Yes, I work with moms, but I've never been a mom. So to actually have my feet in the same shoes that some of my ladies are walking in, it feels a little different. You know what they say? They say that, you know, until you actually go through it yourself, you never really, really know, right? You can read books, you can listen to testimonials, 
you can do all that jazz, but you really don't know what it feels like to actually be pregnant until you actually are. And it's something different, y'all. To be able to have to look at myself in the mirror and accept that the chiseled, you know, real slim in the waist, Safia is now a plumpy, beautiful mom. It's something else. And when I say plumpy, I'm not saying that, you know, as a derogatory term. I know it's, it might be a triggering word for some of you ladies, and I'm sorry if it is. But I say it because, yeah, you know, I, I have fluffed up. It has been not necessarily a journey of me accepting it. I would just say that it's been a journey accepting the changes that I am going through. Like, just some of the things that I was experiencing was... When it comes to like acne on my face, like I've always had acne, unfortunately, since I was young. But now I'm having acne like on my tummy and on my back. And I was thinking to myself, like, I've never experienced this before. And to be able to look at myself in the mirror, not even just the weight, right? But to look at myself in the mirror and literally see myself changing. And I just have to accept it, right? Like this is this is the new me. Of course, they say, you know, some of these things will go away after pregnancy, but every woman is different, right? What if this is like the new me going forward? I mean, I don't know. So it's just been something, it's been really interesting, me accepting this new part of me. Same thing with fitness. I've always been very active. Y'all know this. If y'all been following me for a minute, y'all know this. I'm, I'm active. I mean, I'm curly fake gamer, y'all. I don't even have a curly hair. I'm just disrespecting the whole entire name of my channel. <laughs> <laughs> but I've always been very active. Well, not always, but when I got to that place in my life where I was just like, yeah, this is me now. I'm someone who values their health. I've been that active girl. When I started experiencing sciatic nerve pain, I just had to completely just stop doing everything. There's tons of mommies out here that are doing weight training. Guess what? I can't do weight training anymore. Any type of bending over, squatting, any of those type of movements actually hurts me. And I've never experienced that before. It's really odd and it's really strange to have to accept this new version of me. Someone who isn't picking up dumbbells and, you know, bench pressing and doing these things, right? Like, I'm pretty much just real chill now. The only thing that I do is walking. I actually joined a program that is specifically for pregnant mommies um, that has like workouts that are tailored to them. Excuse me, which again, I'm not familiar with because having sciatic nerve pain, it's like, well, what can I do now? So they have workouts that are designed for pregnant mommies. Some of them I can't do because again, some of them are for or for mommies with weight training, but some of them are like yoga, um, hip mobility, just really powerful but flowing movements. And that I've been pretty much been able to be consistent with. But then there's some weeks when I just don't even have the energy for it. And it's like a couple days in that week, I'm just doing the bare minimum and that's walking. I try to hit those 30 minutes a day, but sometimes it doesn't happen, right? I'm still a wife. I'm still a coach. I still have other responsibilities that I have to do. And if I have to prioritize my sleep and put other stuff away, then that's just what I have to do. I give myself grace by reminding myself that this is only temporary. It's not like I'm gonna be inactive every single day for the rest of my pregnancy. There are days where I am active and there are days where I'm a little less active. To be able to accept that to allow myself to give myself grace during these different times and seasons that I am in right now has been very, I wanna say challenging. It hasn't been challenging. I've pretty much been able to master my mindset in terms of knowing what I need to say, what are some thought provoking questions I need to ask myself when I feel like I'm getting into that dark place. But it's just when, when those times happen where I have to accept that this is what's happening right now, not allowing myself to beat myself up about it because of this image, this expectation that I had placed on myself on what kind of woman I am. 
when the fact is, yes, I am a very active woman. I am very consistent. But one thing I had to accept is that I am a very active woman for the current Safia that I am right now. This Safia that I am right now is very active considering all the other symptoms that I am having. <laughs> it's not because I don't want to. It's because I literally just can't. And that has just been something very interesting that I've had to overcome on an every other day basis. So to be able to accept this new part of me and this new season I'm in, this new version of myself that may be different if God blesses me with another baby. To be able to accept this new part of me, it's been very, very interesting. Another thing that I always remind myself is I've lost 100 pounds, I can do it again right? Like, honestly, I have proved that to myself that I am capable of losing weight. So however much weight I gained during this pregnancy, I am capable of losing them. And I'm going to give myself grace and time. I'm not going to restrict myself to anything just to get back to the size that I was at before. I am going to take my time. I'm going to enjoy the process because if I restrict myself, I'm planning on breastfeeding. I... If I restrict myself, then that's also going to affect my milk supply and that's also going to affect my baby. At that point then, doing anything restrictive or exaggerating is not what I'm going to do, especially after going after giving birth. My body has already went through a tremendous amount of stress and the last thing that I want to do is put myself on a strict regimen just to get myself back to the image or expectation that I had set for myself that's unrealistic for this current part of me. So that's also something else that I've been reminding myself to not even give myself even the thought of all the different avenues that I know that I can take to quickly get back to where I was before, right? Because you're talking about nine months. Nine months is temporary in terms of living a certain lifestyle. But there are habits. Sorry, guys. The baby's kicking me. Hi there. Hi. I'm just doing a video. These pants are not very loose. I have a chain. What was I getting at? Y'all, I promise you, I've been having like major privacy breaks. <laughs> like, I've been forgetting everything. Oh, now I remember. <laughs> the habits that you build in nine months, that's a long time of doing something. Of course, hormones play a part in why pregnant women tend to eat the way that they eat or gravitate towards the different foods that they eat. It's not necessary it's not always because we want to like, some of you ladies probably like pickle and ice cream i personally never had any crazy crazy cravings like that but oh uh, as a crazy in a nice way as in does anyone really genuinely all the time eat pickles and ice cream if you do comment down below because that's very interesting like i've never eaten it and i don't think i ever will <laughs> that's just my personal opinion i mean eat, you. eat what you want i'm just saying i'm not eating no pickles and ice cream <laughs> most, most of the time the things that we gravitate to is based off of the hormonal changes that our bodies are experiencing during pregnancy to be able to meet the needs of our baby so of course after you give birth some of those instincts that you have may not be there anymore because you're not pregnant anymore, right? You, you don't have to feed yourself certain things to be able to supply the things that your baby needs because, I mean, the baby's not in you anymore. Of course, you're still breastfeeding, but pretty much you just eat a pretty clean diet. But those certain cravings that you feel in abundance for, I'm pretty sure you don't have those anymore. I mean, I'm not too sure. I'm just assuming based off of what I know about pregnancy, I don't know anything about postpartum, at least not personally, personal experience you're talking about after pregnancy now there are some habits that you pretty much have to override and that takes time it takes time to be able to actually remind yourself like hey i'm not pregnant anymore um that means that we can't just you know eat three bowls of cereal like we were before and you know everything's gonna be okay uh, we we actually have to be a little bit mindful now mindful with the consideration that you know, if you are breastfeeding, then you are feeding your baby. So make sure that you are consuming enough good nutrition to supply your baby with enough milk, but as well as not draining yourself because a lot of energy is taken out from the mother when they are doing these acts. 
So it's important to make sure that you're also giving yourself enough energy as well. Reminding myself that even after I'm done being pregnant, I'm still going to be continuing to be kind to myself because nine months got me here. Well, in this case, six months got me here. Nine months will get me there. So therefore, it's not just going to be overnight that I'll be able to, you know, go sn get snatched I'm back. I'm, I'm, what's the word that people say nowadays? <laughs> I put it as whatever the after pregnant Safi is going to be looking like. That's how she's going to be looking like. Because I don't know how I'm going to look like after I give birth to our baby. I don't know how my body is going to snatch back. I I may not have a snatch back. I may just be one of them ladies that, you know, I, I got to grind the floor a little bit. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. I am willing to put in that work. I feel like it's just going to give me another opportunity to learn something about myself and take on a new challenge. I love being challenged, y'all. <laughs> but I don't want to go too much on a tangent. I just wanted to come up on here and pretty much just talk about my experience when it comes to acceptance in a new beginning. Because whether it be pregnancy, whether it be menopause, whether it be an empty nester, we all, all of us ladies go through different beginnings in our life. It's never just a linear story. God has so many doors that he has opened for you or ready to be opened that it's going to have you experience a whole different world with so many different challenges, so many different blissful moments that you never thought that you would even experience. But with all these experiences, good or bad, they all give you new skills, new tools that I feel like he wants us to be equipped with. So when we go forth in our life, we are prepared for the trials and tribulations that he wants us to be prepared for. So whatever new beginning that you're in, remember that you are not alone. There are so many women who are either on the same journey as you or maybe on a different journey but we're all experiencing something new. So never feel like you're doing this alone. I had to remind myself that, and I hope you remind yourself that as well after hearing my little announcement as well as my thoughts on my pregnancy so far. <coughs> Saying that, I'm feeling pretty great. I, a little joke that I tell my family now is, you know, when they're getting sassy with me, I'm saying, I'm pregnant. Be nice to me. <laughs> so that's just something that I could say that's been really interesting on watching um, people's personalities um, that, you know, they may not have found me to... What's the word? They have, They may have found me off-putting in a sense but now it's like oh that sounds too specific hold up <laughs> rewind there's just certain individuals that i know the the relationship wasn't really there um not anything specific but the relationship just wasn't there but now that i'm with child people tend to act different <laughs> they really do people tend to act different and I'm not mad about it. My acceptance is now that God allows certain things to happen. And certain people that may have a little bit of a, you know, tougher skin, you know, maybe a little bit of a closed off heart, they start to open up a little more because of these new, new events that are taking place. So I take it as a new opportunity to be able to experience a softer side of someone that wasn't really there before because... They are kind of closed off and it wasn't going to get opened up until this took place. So I take it as another opportunity, not really like a, oh, you're only being nice to me because I'm pregnant. <laughs> you're only being nice to me because you want to see the baby or whatever the case it may be. I'm definitely looking at it just a positive light, whatever their intentions may be. I'm not concerned about that. I am looking at everything in a more positive way because... My baby deserves it. My baby doesn't deserve to be hosted in a brooding mother. 
that's pretty much all that I wanted to come on here and say about. I am going to be coming back to posting more videos. I can't guarantee that it'll be weekly, but I will be posting them as frequently as I can. I also want to do more like beauty stuff because now that your girl is preggers, I have not been going out a lot. Well, that sounds bad. Yes, I have been going out, but as in like getting services done, I haven't really been like allowing people to touch me. Getting my hands done, getting my feet done, getting my hair done. I've been pretty much doing that myself just to minimize the risk of me getting sick because there ain't no cold medicine out here for pregnant ladies. <laughs> you gotta hoof it. <laughs> I mean, I know that they have stuff out there, but I'm just very like, no, if I don't need to take it, I'm not taking anything. So I'm just taking the necessary precautions that I can to keep me and my little ones safe by staying indoors and doing things at home. And if I do go out, I go out with my husband and it's more like us going on a date or getting errands done, things like that, but I'm with him. Other than that, when I'm home, I'm doing self-care on myself or I actually picked up a new hobby of crocheting. I'm literally working on a baby's blanket. Maybe the next time I hop on here, well, one of the next times I hop on here, it'll be like my updates on like all the new stay at home mommy things that I have picked up on, like working on my plans that, yeah, she's looking pretty dry right now. You are, if any of you are interested in any videos going forward regarding my journey in terms of health, when it comes to pregnancy, please comment down below. I'll be very interested in your thoughts. In the meantime though, I'm gonna be doing some planning when I do go on maternity leave, that's going to be it. You're going to be posting nothing. <laughs> Just enjoying me and my baby and my husband. Just getting accustomed to things. But I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are having a wonderful year. And I can't wait to catch up soon. Bye. Here it goes a little yeah. like